We're just over four months away from the midterm elections as voters deal with inflation, high crime, soaring gas prices under President Joe Biden. Republicans are hoping to capitalize, but will there be a red wave as we've seen many primaries take place already, including several last evening? Joining us now to discuss is RNC Chairwoman Ronna McDaniel. Uh, good to see you, Chairwoman. Thanks so much for coming on today. We do appreciate that. I wanted to start with this, if I can, an overall arching theme of many switching over to the Republican Party, um, seeing record Republican turnout so far in the midterms, even other networks like CNN taking notice. Listen to this. Republican primary turnout. Look at this number. Up 29%. Percent. Whenever you see a rise like that, you know something's cooking. And here what is cooking is Republicans are really engaged. And overall, that has made the electorate also more engaged. Ronnie, your response to that, what is making Republicans engaged for turnout? The disaster of Joe Biden and his policies. Uh, you know, Republicans and actually voters who are becoming Republicans, because we've had a huge influx of registration, uh, are looking at high gas prices. They know we have the ability to be energy independent, but Joe Biden's not tapping those resources. They see the formula shortage. They see this administration call parents domestic terrorists as they were on the front lines during the pandemic of getting their kids educated during such a difficult time. On issue after issue, they've watched Joe Biden falter and fail. Let's not forget the border, the drug crisis, the failure to withdraw effectively from Afghanistan. And it's moving voters uh, to the Republican Party because they know that this midterm will be our best chance to put a check on Joe Biden when Republicans take back the House and the Senate. It's been reported that more than a million have now, we were talking about just turnout for elections, but now just switching parties, more than a million have done so, according to the Associated Press reporting on that. I'm sure you've seen that story, too. What does that mean for the Democrat Party? I'm curious to get your thoughts on that. You would obviously need to drum up your base to get more, uh, to rather keep who you've got or get more back. What are they going to run on? Well, voter registration is key. It's a key indicator leading up to an election. If you have more voters registered, you have more voters to turn out for your candidates. And we, the RNC has obviously been investing in this since 2020. We've seen huge gains in states like Pennsylvania, North Carolina. In Florida, for example, Republicans for the first time have more voters registered than Democrats. This is a big deal. And why is this happening? Again, I said the Joe Biden policies mm -hmm. are driving people away from the Democrat Party and to the Republican Party. And I think it's not about Republican Democrat as much as common sense versus crazy. Of course, we, parents should have a say in their kids' classroom. Of course, we want lower gas prices. Of course, we should have a secure border. Of course, we don't want crime in our streets and we want good police yeah. um, and so many other issues that are driving voters to the Republican Party right now. But some things have changed in, in turn, uh, overturning Roe v. Wade, abortion rights, as, as we have seen really in the last week now. Um, January 6th hearings. Does this work for the Democratic platform to, to gain voter turnout? We're not seeing that. The, the draft of the road decision was leaked in April. We've had a lot of polling since then. Joe Biden's numbers continue to go down, and we're not seeing any, any movement on that issue. And nobody's watching the January 6th hearings. Uh, Democrats are banking on maybe we can turn people into single-issue voters. They'll vote just about one thing. Uh, voters are caring about everything right now. Republicans look at voters as the whole voter. We care about education, crime, health care, our border, drug crisis, the drug crisis. Inflation and gas are the two big issues that we're seeing drive voters. So uh, I don't think this formula that Democrats are banking on is going to work for the midterms, but we're not going to take anything for granted. Every Republican needs to get out and work hard so that we can make sure we flip the Senate and the House. And that is the chairwoman for the RNC, Ronna McDaniel, joining us live. Ronna, thank you so much for your time today. For the viewers, we do appreciate that. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.